Hey family, my name is Chris, I am your home gamer dad, and I welcome you back to the next explosive session of Mega Man Adventures as we go through Mega Man 1. So no Proto Man here. So we're switching up some characters this time, trying to figure out some new things. In fact, the last game I played, in order to be able to put this guy onto my roster, I switched characters anyway, just to kind of see how things work. And I gotta tell you right now, if I don't rush and just roll with it, I can make these wins happen. It's it's Rush the Dog and Roll Mega Man Sister. That's those are the new characters, and I'm gonna be picking one of those today. So the question I had was, which one am I bringing into today's session? Now, the way I have this set up is I would introduce a new character every two Robot Masters. Mega Man 1 is unique in that it only has six Robot Masters, so I kind of have to already adjust the idea of what I want to do here, considering a standard Mega Man game has eight Robot Masters. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Rush. He's going to go up against the Robot Master for today's session, and Roll will go up against the next one. Now, let me talk a little bit about Rush here. Rush is amazing. Rush won against Fireman <laughs> when I did this off camera. I tried it actually two or three times as Proto Man. Just couldn't get it. I just couldn't get there at all. And I mentioned in the last episode, the thing with Proto Man is you have your risk versus reward. And if you take all these risks and they don't work out for you, plus bad dice rolls, he takes a lot of unnecessary damage really quickly. Plus, I really believe self-inflicted damage should not bring your character to zero. But if it does, that's kind of how I ran with it, and that's why I lost so many times. Working with this amazing dog here, Rush is the ultimate character to have for multiplayer. You have more than one player, you use Rush. He has the ability to divvy out healing, which is amazing, and all these different dice to everybody else on the board, including himself if he needs it. So his ability to maintain his own health track, you know, as high as it can, and then kind of be always ready for anything is almost a better adaptability than Mega Man, which is absolutely insane. Um, so he is going to go against the one today. Uh, now, I also did say, you know, every after every two Robot Masters, you know, you switch things up here and there. Um, you really don't have to do that. You can keep whatever character you have. It's just after every two Robot Masters, you can give yourself back your E-Tank. You drop your special weapons back down to one. You can pick whatever one you want, but I would say only use one. Um, and then uh, I guess if you want to spend the E-Tank in order to equip another special weapon, go for it. Because then it's like you're trading in one E-Tank for three weapon energy, which is a pretty good balance. Um, and then you could also switch out your characters however you want. You can just leave one through the whole thing or swap it around. So I think this should work out good. And I think we should be able to pull a win out for today because we are long overdue and I need this win. Rush, rush my boy. Rush, I need this win. So let's get all bombastic on today's Robot Master. Ready? And start. <laughs> All right, all set up and ready to go here. We have our robo good boy right here, all ready to jump into the fray and start taking down the enemies and getting himself to Bomb Man. Um, I think this is pretty good thematically because I feel Rush is like, you know, fetch the bombs, boys. So he runs at them and he takes them and he throws them all over the place and just messes Bomb Man's world up completely. Um, so the special weapon that I decided to start with for Rush is the Firestorm. I figure, you know, he turns into the rush jet, so he's able to actually take advantage of the firestorm by firing the fire through his, you know, the, the jets on the back of him. Um, just sounds thematically fun for me. I think that would actually work out pretty well. Uh, we have himself all shuffled up. We have light. Let's take a look at Bomb Man stage and then a closer look at the firestorm. There's Bomb Man stage, and there is the firestorm ability. So, Bomb Man has exploding missiles, go figure. Uh, if two or more dice show at least one jump, suffer a damage, not fun at all. So if two dice, two different dice, they gotta be different, show a jump symbol that includes a double, the, the double, so if I only had one dice that showed this, I would not take a damage. I would need to have two dice that showed, you know, jump symbols, so it would be that, and why can't I find a blue? There it is, okay. I, I took a yellow instead, whatever, it was that. So this would deal me one damage. 
but it's not it's, it's not stacking either. So this would still also deal me run damage. Basically, if I have more than one dice showing a jump, I take a damage, which is terrible. However, the Firestorm here is an interesting one. I For one weapon energy and one of any dice, I get a red with the shoot symbol showing, so I get this, and then the very next thing that tries to hit me, I prevent one damage. Because if you remember in uh, Mega Man, the fire she or the firestorm was actually the first shield weapon in the game. It like spun around him and then created like a temporary barrier uh, whenever he was jumping through things. It's actually the way that you beat the copy robot later on in Wily, but I'll talk about that later. So that's the Firestorm. I think this will work out very well because it's also his weakness regardless. So I only have three weapon energy to work with. Hopefully the special, uh, the mystery boxes will help with that. Um, and we'll see what we can do. Down there, up here. And I say we get started right now. Here we go. Awesome. We got a nice spread of things here. We have... I need a single jump to get her through the metal, plus already a, a mystery box. Uh, I got a wait here, so it's two of any one symbol, plus a shoot, and then a run, and then two jumps, progressively stronger things that are going to get me. So let's take a look at our first four cards, and I'll explain all the special abilities that pop up with Rush. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Okay. Huh. Always fun like that. So here's the fun thing about Rush. You actually see all four of his special abilities right here, which is awesome. I'm glad that we got a chance to see that. Um, let's start over here with Rescue. What is that? May be used on any player's turn. So normally when you put this into your skill slot, you know, you're the only one that can use it. You use it on your turn, whatever. This counts like a boost card. So you can give one of any color dice to an ally to help them. Super helpful, rush drops in, gives you a dice of any color you need. Beautiful, absolutely amazing. Rush Jet, this is the way that he earns his tokens. He takes a damage, but then he uses, he gains a blue and a yellow. However, he may freely distribute these among any of the players, which means if somebody needs a jump, he can activate the Rush Jet. Like if, if you know they're coming down, because he could, he would have to do this on his turn, but like if the next player is going to need a jump or a run or whatever, Rush could take a damage and then give them either or both of these tokens if he wants. So as you can see, these powers are really great at distributing all different types of things to other players, including energy over here, uh, which I might as well just go to as well. For spending a, a weapon energy, which, you know, he only has three, but it's amazing, Heal two, and this again may be given to any among any of the players, including himself. These three do go to himself as well. It's not like you're wasting it. And I think that's what makes Rush amazing, because if I pull out an energy card and I'm low, I can just spend a weapon energy, regain two health. And with five health, that's a big deal. Finally, transform is something that I've been talking about in the last few episodes, taking dice that you have that you just can't use for anything and changing them into stuff more useful. Kind of what this is. Get rid of any shoot. Doesn't have to be a red dice. Could be a blue with a shoot symbol on it. You know, I could spend this, and then I would get a yellow dice that's a run, and then a blue dice that's a jump, which is amazing. He gives you just two dice randomly. Could spend a weapon energy to reroll them. Totally up to you. So those are actually the four abilities that Rush has scattered throughout his deck, which is nice that I drew these because I think each one appears four times, so that's only one less of each. Um... Let's see what Dr. Light is looking for. Hopefully he doesn't need any yellow. All right, Light, that's a good start. That's a good start. I don't like that. And there's a good one as well, huh? Okay, so good beginning here. I didn't want any yellow and he did give me this one card that's a yellow for a yellow, but at least it wasn't all of them because I've been screwed over before where it's like Light has asked me for all the yellows and I didn't need them, but then later on I did. This is actually a really good start. Um, again, don't get cocky, but you know, we, we, you know, good boy, good, good rush, good rush. Um, yeah, actually, I, I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do with this. Yeah, yeah, I like this. This is good. This is good because I can always transform a shoot in order to run in a jump, which I could use for here. Um, I only got two blue dice and two red dice and then another red dice. This, this feels like something that's good. I'm 
positive we should be able to get some stuff out of it. Let's go ahead and do our initial dice pool roll and see what we get. Hopefully only one jump, even though I need a bunch more, but we'll, we'll see what happens as we go along. All right, two blue, two red. All right, so unfortunately I do take a damage, uh, but I got two shoots, a jump. Ooh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, Rush, here we go. Go get that Matal in that special ability. So we're gonna jump in here, that, that mystery thing. Okay, so first things first, we do take the damage because of the exploding missile. Two or more dice did show a jump. I have two dice that show jump, so that's boom right there. It's okay, no problem. Rush is now going to spend this jump in order to get past the Matal there, and we're gonna open up one of these. So let's, let's, take, let's take this one. And we gain back the health we lost. That's amazing. That is great. And now we are right here. So we have uh, two of anything and a shoot. So that's right here. Um, so here's the thing, though. Do I really want to? Let me let me roll this red. I have I do have my extra red here. So oh, come back here. So let's roll this. I'm kind of curious what I get. I get another jump. I get another jump. That's great. Oh my God, that's amazing. Okay, so I can spend these right here to poof that, and then I can transform this shoot, which I don't need. Yeah, rush, boom, 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 boom. So see, now I got myself, I got myself a, uh, a yellow dice and then a blue dice of showing those particular symbols, which is great, so I can take this away too. And then these are the three symbols I need, a run and two jumps in order to get past this one area. Holy jeez, that's amazing. We made it through an entire round of challenges, literally at the full health, didn't use any of our weapon energy, still have our energy tank. Oh, good, good boy, good rush, good. That was about as best of a start as you could ever get. I mean, it's, it's this worked out very well, but as we have learned, things can take a turn really fast. I mean, this, this is a fully cooperative game. These games are not meant to be easy. They're not meant to always be able to win no matter what, and I get that. And I can understand why certain things are done and certain rules are made in order to keep that balance. But, you know, again, I really want this win. I really need this win right now. So here we go. One, two, three, challenge number two. We have a lot of two damagers, which is all right. Run, run, shoot, shoot, jump, and then a double. All right, I think I think we can handle that. Let's see. Let's see what Rush uh, what Rush has. All right. Oh, that's great. I don't think you've seen. Oh, are you kidding? This is oh boy. Oh boy. All right. So, so the last thing that you guys haven't seen yet is this up here, and this pretty much says. I can roll anything I want. This counts as a red, a yellow, or a blue dice. Doesn't matter which one it is. That's great. I don't like that I have two energies here. That's that's not good. I don't like that because that means there's only so many left in the deck. And as I go through, I would definitely want to have stuff that would give me energy. Um, but these, these are amazing because this, again, will... Uh, fill any of the Wiley require uh, Wiley any of the Doctor Light requirements um, because they count as all three. And then you know if you're playing multiple players, you put this in one of your slot. Whoever's on your left or right will be able to again choose any dice they want, and it can be different than the one you chose. Absolutely awesome card. All right, Light. Whoops, come back here, Rush. I'm getting getting excited there with your cards. All right, okay, because I have those two dice that I get anything I want, I'm looking at this thinking to myself, what exactly do I need? What what would be more advantageous uh, to roll? The, the, the yellows, the blues? I know I need at least one jump, but the exploding dice here, the exploded, the dice, well, the exploding missiles, I'm sorry, exploding dice would kind of be the same thing regardless. Um, you know, you jump and then you, uh, you, you just take all the damage that way. Um, so uh, I think, and it's only on the dice pool as well. Keep in mind, it's only on the dice pool. So any cards in my uh, boost slot, if it's a, a blue and I can roll it, I can get as many jumps as I want. It, that doesn't matter. I went a little back and forth on this. Um, I think 
that regardless of like for the Dr. Light cards, you do need to roll the colored dice that you match to it. Like it counts as any of the dice, but I don't know. Maybe somebody, one of the guys that designed, I don't think it's in the rule book. I didn't really see anything, or at least I might have missed it. But I think if I do this, even though this counts as a yellow, I still have to roll a yellow for it. Um, and then same thing for this one, it would have to be a red. In any event, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm rolling yellow, yellow, red, blue. Um, just because I know I have a, a lot of uh, shoots and I have a lot of shoots and runs that I got to go with here. But uh, we'll just kind of go from there. I chose Rust Jets so as I can get another shoot and a uh, run token if I need it. I always have my Firestorm, which prevents the damage and will give me a shoot. And then a yellow in the boost. This is the situation where I wish that I could have the choice on either using the top or the bottom. Because having this here and having the ability to possibly use this skill uh, in addition to this one is absolutely amazing. Um, I would spend... Would I spend two weapon energy to activate this? If I was at one health, I would. Let me tell you that. So let's just let's just roll our yellow, yellow, red, blue, and see what we get. Yellow, yellow, red, blue. Okay. Of course, of course, as you can see, I rolled. Uh, I didn't roll a single run, and I rolled two jumps. So unfortunately, that means we we take a damage. All right, so again, a missile exploded in our face, unfortunately. Let's rush and engage here. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead just... I'm going to roll this yellow one right now because I may be able to get myself uh, a run out of it. Try not to, to take that damage from the rush jet, but... Ah, come back here. Hey, I got it. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, so there's my run. Got two shoots, two shoots, two jumps, and a run. So that's good. Uh, now I gotta figure out how I wanna do this. I definitely need a run and a shoot for the next thing. Um, I'm actually gonna take these two, this, this run and this shoot here, and we're going to go ahead and say, ha ha, I beat you. That's, that's fine there. Uh, we'll go ahead and activate the box. So let's, let's go with this one. Oh man, a weapon energy. Dang it. See that? Ah, uh, I wish I, I wish I had actually spent a weapon energy in order to be able to get what I needed. Um, all right. So what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Do I take the damage? If I take the damage, I can bypass this one, which is great. Um, uh, geez. Maybe I do that. Maybe I go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's take the damage. This gives me a shoot and a run, which is fine. Okay. Um, and then I need a double and a run. I do need a jump and a shoot here, though, which is another problem. See, because I got a jump and a shoot there to get past that. Um, hmm. See now this is the this is the issue. Do I spend a weapon? You know what? All right, let's go ahead. Let's spend a weapon energy, and I get myself a shoot thing. So we spent, we did a lot in this particular round. So these two are going to be for the next one, and then I have shoot shoot, which is good, and then the run. So that passes this little guy right there, and then so that goes here, and then these are spent in order to bypass that one. All right, so we took some more damage. Not the best, not that great, but we're still in a pretty good section. There are more heals in here, and then hopefully we'll get some better mystery boxes. So again, see, sometimes things take a turn, but we still got our E-Tank, so we're okay. Um, in, in Russia's situation, I'd rather have more special weapons than anything, but we'll, 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 just, we'll roll with it. I think, I think we can do this. Okay, halfway through. Now, whatever we open up in the box, we'd be able to earn, which is great. And let's see what number three is. All right, so the box is all the way at the end. That's a lot of jump and shoots. Jump and shoots, jump and shoot man straight through again. I think we've seen this one a few times. Uh, I think this is actually the very first one we saw when, <laughs> when I did my sessions. So uh, let's see what's, what also sucks is the exploding bombs because I need a lot of jumps. And this is not going to help me very well um, avoid those bombs. Uh, all right, Rush, what do you got? 
Okay. All right. No blues. Okay. I got to transform a jump and shoot. That's actually really good. Oh, um, that, that, that might actually be my, uh, <laughs> my, my, my MVP right there to take one of the runs that I'll turn from here and change it into a jump and a shoot, which would definitely give me pass. But the problem is I have this here too, which I would love to use in order to gain back some health, even though I don't have much, uh, weapon energy left. Um, let's, let's, let's see what light wants. I bet it's going to be all blue, but all four are blue. I say that just because my luck sometimes rolls that way when I'm halfway through a stage. Uh, yep, there you go. There's one of them. All right, that's good. There's another. Okay. Well, so at least I know pretty much what I'll be taking. Um, definitely these two, uh, which leaves me a red and a yellow, or two reds uh, to figure out what I want to do with. Um, as much as I would love to have these as well, I don't have any blues, and I don't even have any of the any color you want thing, so that wouldn't really matter. And I'm only rolling one jump, so that just, a small chance that I'm adding extra jumps to the mix. And with my transform, I think that's the one I'm really going to do because that seems to be the best way I can get through this. Yeah, this one was a, a bit of a no-brainer here. Uh, having the transform ability to gain a jump and a shoot uh, to be able to do pretty much anything is outstanding. I didn't want to take any damage, so the yellows would have to go here, and I have a red uh, to roll as a boost card. Again, wish I could use this as well, um, but I can't. But we'll see what if this guy actually gives me uh, something good. So two yellows, a blue, and a red. Let's hope for one jump or a... Uh, do I want a jump? No, no, one jump. One jump. All I want is one jump. All right. Blue, yellow, yellow, red. All right, I got zero jumps. Um, but I did get my run, which will prove to be very helpful. A lot of shoots here. Uh, let's see. All right, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trans... I'm going to engage the heli right here, and then I'm going to transform this run into a jump and then grab myself a red dice for a shoot. Now, the good thing is this covers here, and then what I have here covers here. So that's the two shoots and the uh, the, the two of any one symbol and then one shoot. Problem is, is I need a jump and a shoot to go through this. So I'm kind of curious what this is going to give me. So let's roll this red. And if for some random reason it gives me a jump, I may just spend the weapon energy in order to, um, to what do you call it? Uh, nope, I got another shoot. Got another shoot. Hmm. So again, in this situation, it's... I can re-roll a bunch of things in order to attempt to try to get uh, what I need. I have the jump and the shoot for the one thing, but I also have a lot of other symbols that I need. And I'm afraid to do anything else. Um, I also don't even have... I mean, unless one of these rolls a double, I don't have enough dice to do what I want to do as well. All right, let's, let's do this. Let's... Let's spend these two, and we get past this heli. Do I spend this? Because I need a jump. Regardless of anything, I need, a, I need another dice, and I need that dice to be a jump. Um, but I have two reds and two yellows in there. Uh, do, I, do I chance it and just end up possibly taking the hit anyway? Ah, oh, man, this stinks. All right, let's give it a shot. So we're going to spend another weapon energy, and we're going to reroll dice. Um... Do I re-roll them all? That's the other question. These I probably don't really need. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to re-roll these two yellows and see what I can get. Is luck going to be with me today? Let's find out. Um, not particularly. No, no particular luck, unfortunately. So this doesn't do absolutely. If I had another transform, this, this was a run, by the way. If I had another transform, I'd be able to get through it, but that's not going to happen. So this, unfortunately, we have to go through and snap two hits. Um, this we do have, two of any symbol and a shoot. So that does earn us a mystery box, which is a weapon energy. Okay, so that's good. It's good to actually have a weapon energy back. So this way we can um, uh, start doing more uh, with that. I have one health. One energy. Uh, 
that's three out of four down. Hopefully, hopefully I get this. Hopefully, uh, this energy pops up in the next draw, and then, uh, and then I can heal myself. All right, so I'm pretty sure I drew all four of my healing cards, but uh, hey, you know what? Crazier things have happened. Round four. Okay. Um, got a mystery box right in the beginning. That's always fun. Surprise, surprise. Hopefully it's something good. These guys are never great to deal with, so I definitely want to make sure I take that down. And then um, this thing right here. The problem I have is... I have one health, and if I roll more than one jump, I immediately have to use the weapon energy and then take the damage. Uh, let's see what our final four cards are. And a one, and a two, all right, cool. And a three, and a four. Okay, so I definitely have a yellow and a blue. I have, I mean, this just gives me a dice of any color. I mean, I, I can have a lot of dice going into this. It's actually, isn't the worst thing. I mean, I have these two that I can get as a special. Um, either one of these rescues rescuing myself. Definitely won't be using you. Um, so you'll either be in a support or in uh, my boost. Let's see what Dr. Light wants. I'm pretty well covered. So whatever he needs, I should be able to satisfy. All right, so the fun part about this is I definitely need blues. I need blues big time. And unfortunately, there's very minimal blue that I can roll. However, if I roll a bunch of other things, I might be able to transform something. Um, I could get lucky on the mystery box, uh, surprise box, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's just, uh, hmm, let's see how I want to play this. Okay, this is where I'm going with here. Uh, that's going to be a red. So red, red, yellow, red. I do need a lot of shoot there. I need jumps as well, but I need doubles. Um, the good thing is, is because I have all these shoots, I can possibly transform a shoot into a run and a jump, which at least satisfies this one uh, so I can survive that. Uh, but we'll we'll see what, what we get as we go along here. Kind of hoping for minimal jumps right now, at least with this boost over here. Uh, this jump, I can roll that after the dice pool. So three reds and a yellow. I only have three reds, so hopefully this yellow's lucky. Um, oh, oh, okay. Huh. Well, will, will you look at that? Okay. This, I might actually be able to do this. Huh. All right, straight up, first and foremost, engage the bunny rabbit here. I'm going to take the single shoot here and overcome that shabam. So let's go ahead and grab this mystery token here and get another weapon energy. So that's our third weapon energy back. That is fantastic. We have three weapon energy once again back with Rush. That I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, as for here, we need a double, a jump, and a shoot. I can... Uh, let's see, let's see. I can roll this blue. Let's see what this blue gets me. Uh, all right, so we got all the doubles here. A lot of doubles, which is great. Uh, yeah. Uh, a jump. Um, okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, so I need a double of something, a jump, and a shoot. So these would, this would satisfy all that. However, the problem is, is I still need to do a... Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to have to use weapon energy, but I can survive this. So double, and then I'm going to use one of these shoots and a jump. I can't use the second shoot to transform this. Unfortunately, it has to be a dice with a single transform uh, image on it. Good, good example right here, but you can't split up doubles like that, unfortunately, at least as far as I've read in the rules. And I get it, or else that'd be pretty cheap to do. So all of this would actually pass that guy right there. Um, now I know I have this double here, which is really not gonna do anything for me. Fortunately, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna spend one of my two weapon energies to bring back this shoot to transform it into a jump and a run, which then spends to beat the stage. Rush, 
Russia's managed to survive all of that with one health left, and we have two weapon energy and still our E tank going into the boss. Oh boy, Rush, get into your attack position. Sick him, boy. Boom, boom, bang, here we are, going up against the bomb man. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. So, what do we got here for bomb man? He is four uh, boss pattern cards, which isn't bad. That's not really, we, it's better than five, one less, always great. Um, fire is his weakness, which is our firestorm, and he has big explosion. Each pattern card gains a damage. So we don't have to actually do anything extra, but if we decide to tank or can't get past a card, it does an additional damage. So there's no such thing as one damage cards here. It's minimum two, max four. Oh God. And then uh, you gotta run away from him a lot because he's chucking your bombs all over the place. Hopefully, Mr. Rush can find those bombs and send them back to him. Uh, let's see what our first pattern is. Uh, engage, immediately discard one weapon energy or a token, uh, if able. So I'm already starting this with one less weapon energy. That's fantastic, but it only requires one to get through. Uh, okay, that's just wonderful. All right, I shuffled up. Let's see what we got. And here we go. That's one, two, three... Four. Oh, great. Uh, I was really hoping that I would get uh, my heal in there. Uh, honestly, I don't I don't know if Roll really needs the AE tank. Well, Rush will probably end up using it here, um, but he may not. I may, I may get through this. I might be able to get through this uh, using one of these transforms or something like that. And he needs a lot of runs. So we got three yellows here. So that's pretty good. Might as well see what Dr. Light needs. He needs a blue, he needs a yellow, he needs a blue, he needs a yellow. Okay, all right, all right. That's that's actually very helpful, Dr. Light. I appreciate that. I don't know how many reds I'm going to need because I don't know what the rest of that boss uh, pattern card is. But in this situation, I am able to get a lot of yellow. So let's see what I can pull together for this boss fight. All right, as with the case with most of uh, these boss fights, you never know what they're going to need in the future, but I think this is a pretty good spread. I got all three colored dice rolling plus some extra yellow. I got a blue dice as a boost because I can use the jump to transform it into uh, a shoot and a run, which is fine. I do have Firestorm. Unfortunately, I do lose that weapon energy because of uh, the stupid engage ability. Um, I don't have any tokens in order to be able to do that. So that's kind of where we stand right now. Uh, this will do two damage to Rush if he fails it. So let's not try to fail any of these. Rolling these four. All right, and we start with yeah, a run, a shoot, a jump, and another run. That's This is all seeming pretty balanced. I'm, I'm liking the balance, but I'm also very scared by it. All right, and fight! Ruff, ruff, ruff. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. All right, good. So we took away the thing there. We do have one run. Let's go ahead and just spend this run immediately to take down one of four. Perfect. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, well, there goes my weapon energy. So that's gone. Um, I do need the jump. I have the jump, which is great, but I'm gonna go ahead and roll this blue just to be sure, maybe I, hopefully I'll get myself another jump. I gotta run. So now my transform is completely useless. I also feel like this is gonna be a really poor uh, showing because I have now have no more weapon energy. Um, and again, that's gonna, that's two damage. Regardless of anything, that's two damage. I can't tank any more hits. Um, I mean, I can tank hits, uh, but I have no jumps in order to be able to transform. There's no guarantee the next two cards I'm gonna need just runs and shoots. Uh, jeez, 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 what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Do I heal or do I just keep going? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna spend this jump. I'm gonna try that. I know I can't transform anything now, unfortunately. 
Ah, see, there we are. That's great. So that would be three damage right there that that would give me. Um, oh, man, that stinks. That's another jump right there. All right, so I have to use this to go up here, and then it's one, two, three to that. Okay, and I passed that. And I passed that. I have, I have a, a, a that. There we go. So there's the shoot. There's the run. There we go. Okay. That beats that. That's finishing. Finally. Finally. Even though I used the, the eat egg and had to bring myself to here and took a, like a massive shot from that damage, I won. I beat you, uh, Bomb Man Rush. You did very well. I wish I had this to gain me more health instead, but that's okay. We did it. Awesome win. Man, these games get closer and closer the more I play, but you know what? I got the win. The win was really what we were after, and all it took was man's robotic best friend right here. Granted, I'm more of a cat person, but you know what? I would absolutely take a red jet-fueled Scooby-Doo sounding dog to be my companion any day, especially when it takes down this, this mohawk turtle circle sphere thing, whatever, whatever. You know, it's, you look at all the designs here and you kind of get a little bit understanding what EVG of them are. Bomb Man has always been very weird to me. Guts Man is actually strange to me too. Um, which, speaking of which, of course, that's who we're going up against in the next episode. And Rush, you did great. I had a great time with this. I have a better plan for you in the future, which you guys are going to be able to see as well. So instead of Rush, we're going to go ahead and bring in a Mega Sister and say, this little girl is going to be beating up a big, tough bruiser in the next episode. Again, thank you. I really can't thank you enough. This has been a great time. We're almost done with Mega Man 1. We got the final robot master, Mr. The Guts Man down there, uh, and then the boss rush, and then going after Wily. So only a few left, and I'm crossing my fingers that at least when I go through Wily, I can beat him on camera. That's the goal. That's the hope. That's the intent. So until that happens, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys take care of each other because we are... Family forever, gaming together. Till the next one, guys.